Hello, I'm Dave Hadley Price and I've been head at the Bewdley School for almost five years, following two other headships. My background is physics and I currently study ocean science and I'm in my 30th year in teaching. I have five grown up children, my wife is a writer and we've recently moved into a, as you can see, converted church. I love working with the Bewdley community having grown up in a small rural town in Mid Wales and look forward over the next few years to strengthening our community links. I've worked in seven schools during my career and all of them have had six forms. As a classroom teacher, I've taught physics, electronics, applied science and critical thinking to sixth form students. From 1998 to 2006, I was first head of year 12, then for five years head of sixth form at Llanidlos High School in Mid Wales. I only give this detail to illustrate just how important I feel secondary school sixth forms are and how central our sixth form is in my thinking and planning. Why then would I argue for a school sixth form rather than a sixth form college or further education college? There are many reasons, not least of which, by staying in the school they've attended for many years, students will be working with the staff who know them well and can develop their strengths and support their weaknesses. Whilst many students are mature enough for independent study at 16, many are not and school sixth forms are geared up for daily tutorials, which are weekly if at all in most post-16 institutions. Finally, class sizes, which average 10 in school six forms, are 20 plus elsewhere. I do feel strongly that school six forms in general know the students more deeply and support them more effectively. I've outlined the whole school curriculum in some detail in my other open evening presentation, so I shan't repeat those messages here. What is it that is special about Beaudley Six? And what are we doing to develop and improve it? All six forms have had to adapt over the last five years to the post-16 reforms introduced by Michael Gove. This not only involved an increase in learned content in all A-levels, but the dismantling after 15 years of Curriculum 2000 with its structured AS-level courses and blend of continuous and modular assessment. Given the huge increase in the number of students studying at university over the last 30 years, these flexible courses really did meet the needs of a broad and diverse range of learning styles. So these changes have had a great impact on the way six forms have to operate. We now have linear A-levels taught over two years with end of course examination assessment, much like the ones I sat in the early 1980s. Despite the demise of many credible and interesting subjects as a result of the reforms, we've been working hard to broaden our curriculum offer. Since I joined the school in 2017, we did, we've introduced A-levels in computer science, sociology, classics, and this year government and politics. This gives us a total offer of 30 distinct Level 3 qualifications. We have also increased the teaching time for A-level courses at Bewdley from 4 hours per week in 2016 to 4.5 in 2017 and now 5 hours from 2018 onwards which includes the current model. This focus on curriculum breadth and teaching time with our very experienced and skilled staff coupled with our advantageous class sizes does create, I believe, a very high quality curriculum offer. Around this core educational offer, we have built a comprehensive tutorial program. Discrete mentor groups support eight to 10 students with an allocated tutor for the full two years. In addition to daily tutoring, a weekly one-to-one -one meeting is scheduled to track progress, record details, and provide the evidence to support references required for the post-18 journey. Year 12 begins with the career program, followed by a bespoke way ahead program, which explores time management, study skills, and very importantly, work-life balance. Academic progress is tracked and early interventions are supported by our study room mentor, who is an experienced teacher and works closely with all departmental areas. We revisit post-18 career options, exploring apprenticeships, gap years, unemployment, and university options throughout the year with visits to UCAS conventions and an apprenticeship show. Students and parents receive weekly updates on key notices, extracurricular events, our scholars, supercurricular pathway and work experience opportunities. As a member of Spring Pod and speakers for schools, we're able to offer a full range of work experience placements. We're very proud of being able to provide an individual careers pathway for all of our students, with 97% of our year 13s gaining their first choice of university course this summer. Each year we welcome back our alumni to speak to our younger students and enjoy visits from students who've returned home for the holidays. Our relentless focus on improving our sixth form extends to the main sixth form block, which was fully refurbished in 2020. Whilst the interior of our sixth form block was a tired 1970s style, the infrastructure of the building was solid and well suited to creating the kinds of spaces we needed. 
By losing offices and reconfiguring internal walls, we've created large open study spaces, suitably sized classrooms, and a bespoke lecture theatre. Alongside this reconfiguration, the interior has been fully refurbished to provide a light, airy and open space for students to study and interact. This is complemented by a fully refurbished six degree cafe, which provides a high quality social and study space from which students base their daily learning. We continue to seek to enrich our offer by, for example, forging links with professional work environments through our Professional Pathways programme. This is in areas such as medicine, engineering and the media, building an increasingly diverse curriculum as a bridge into the world of work and further study. Recent examples include developing close links with Kidderminster Hospital, MAZAC and DRPG. Last year, the first cohort of students on a medical pathway secured places at a wide range of Russell Group universities, including medicine at Oxford, medical physiology at Nottingham and neuroscience at Cardiff. This central offer is supported by an increasingly diverse and rich range of extracurricular opportunities. Shortly before the pandemic, we established our own charity, the Discovery Society, to create wider opportunities for exploration and research. Sadly, our programme of university talks for sixth form has had to be cancelled after only two talks, but we will be seeking to reinstate these as normality returns. We've also developed a partnership with Operation Wallacea, a biodiversity and climate research organisation. It runs field expeditions to 15 countries involving environmental research for a week each in tropical rainforest and the ocean. The Beaudley School's expedition to Dominica in the Caribbean was postponed from July 2021 to July 22 and will form the foundations for what we hope will be an annual opportunity. Other enrichment opportunities include the Gold Duke of Edinburgh Award, which extends from the Bronze in Year 10 and Silver in Year 11. The Rotary Club of Beaudley works closely with us, offering a range of opportunities, including the International Youth Exchange, with one of our students recently spending a year in Brazil. We offer young enterprise in which students set up their own business where they can manufacture and sell goods and are supported by local businesses. Here they compete regionally and nationally to showcase the skills that they've learned. Our history team offers an annual visit to Berlin, which is invaluable for those studying A-level and English literature students visit the RSC in Stratford-Navon whilst mathematicians have maths fest and all the extravaganza of mathematics. We also have an increasing number of students who choose to study an extended project qualification which offers a fantastic opportunity to engage in genuine research, supported by one-to-one -one -one tutoring with specialist teachers. Until the world changed, one of our key, area, key areas for development was a wider curriculum and in particular, work with international partners. Our Global Happiness Conference in 2019 was attended by 10 countries as widely spread as South Korea, Uganda, India and Jordan. Our international trips in recent years included France, Spain, Italy and Iceland, with trips to China and Dominica in the Caribbean in planning. Whilst this is still important to us, we have to be realistic and this year we'll be initiating a Discovering Britain programme to encourage students to, our small, to explore our small island whilst international travel is still difficult. We really do look forward to rejuvenating the discovery, our two week expedition to the tropical rainforests and reefs of Dominica. And as with many of the things we do, our music at Beaudley Festival, Hopfest and other local venues, our Rotary Club, Club Photography Competition, our Planting for Hope Uganda charity work, our many sports and extracurricular opportunities and our young mayor and deputy who sit on Beaudley Town Council, the Discovery Society was established to broaden and deepen our links with our local and regional community. We look forward to resurrecting our university links and creating new opportunities for our students and we welcome you to be a part of this. Thank you for listening and I do hope to see you at our open evening. Bye-bye.